Well, a reminder tonight for parents to talk to their teenagers about the dangers of social media and the people who may be preying on them. This after Ben Salem police say a man abused social media and bullied girls into sending him nude photos. Alicia Roberts joins us live now from Ben Salem. Alicia. Hi, Jess. Officials say Ian Pasarchuk lured his victims online by gaining their trust. He's been doing it for five years. At least seven victims are known, and more are likely out there. 25 year old Ian Pasarchuk sits in a Bucks County jail charged with multiple counts of child porn and extortion. Officials say over multiple years he'd made contact online with at least four known victims by claiming to be a mutual friend. These Individuals, and I use that term lightly, will search and find those friends of friends and then pretend that they already know you, tricking people into friending them. Once connected, Pasarchuk coerced his female victims to send him photos and videos. Pasarchuk uh, obtained nude photos and sexual videos from the victims by means of extortion. He threatened to harm them and their families if they did not comply with his demands. Police say they were able to track down this predator from an investigation that started this past October when another juvenile came forward saying she was being threatened on Snapchat. And thanks to new technology, officials were able to crack open the cold case of Lindsay Pacone. It was determined that Lindsay Pacone was harassed, threatened, and extorted. By, the un, by an unknown person on Snapchat. The 21 year old woman went missing in September 2016. Her body was discovered two months later in Tyler State Park. Police have now learned that Pasarchek attended Kutztown University from 2014 to 2018 at the same time that Lindsay Pacone was being harassed. We want to get the maximum justice that we can for Lindsay Pacone and the Pacone family. Bucks officials saying more charges are being considered and warn more victims are likely out there. This case probably expands far outside of Bucks County. That was Alicia Roberts reporting. We have posted a list of screen names used by Pisarchek along with an anonymous website to report cyber crimes. Safe to say PA.org on CBS3 Philly.